Hello everyone and welcome to game 3 now in a series between Gamma Bears and Spider. Game 3 from the TESL Finals Taiwan Esports League and looking forward to this game. Um, it is going to be a Protoss versus Zerg and Fly, <coughs> excuse me, Fly perhaps the other really really well known or not as well known as Sen but the other very strong um, Zerg player coming out from Taiwan. I do expect great things from him. He's been able to take a couple of games off of the mighty Sen in, in the TESL and we'll see how he does in this matchup. Meanwhile Gamma bears his Gao. Don't really know too much but as the games do continue and I cast more of the TESL I should have a little bit more of a backstory and a little bit more information on their particular play styles. Now, down off over here we can see that Spider is spawning as the blue Zerg at the 7 o'clock location. Meanwhile, Gamma Bears is Gao spawning as the red Protoss. It is going to be a north versus south spawn and the probe will quickly find his opponent and take a look around on the inside base here. So far he doesn't see uh, an extractor which is really what he's looking for and we'll see if he goes for a forge first or if he tries to go for a nexus first. Both are very very viable options. Gao now patrolling down here but Fly already opting to go for the spawning pool instead. And what this will mean is Fly will be able to train up four zerglings, get up a queen even if this probe does leave behind a pylon. That pylon will simply just get taken down as I believe Gao, yep, leaving that pylon like every good Protoss player should and making his way back up to the north. Now this drone has two options. This drone can either try to pick away at this pylon or he can try to come down here and establish up as this that is his second base. The problem with that for Zerg is that because there are destructible rocks here it takes a little bit of time to actually transfer your queen from one base to another. We are going to see Gao make his way down. Is he going to be going for uh, a photon cannon first and then perhaps a gateway here but the Nexus is very much delayed and with that the Zerglings could be coming out in just a moment to try and take down this pylon. Probe is attempting to run back. It looks like it will be able to do exactly that as the Zerglings and the drone finish off that pylon and grow up to be a hatchery. Nexus is already down for Gao. Fly still needs a little bit of time, another drone making its way over. So it looks like Gao may try to set up a, th a second and third base all at the same time. And there, there is ha one hatchery already up and the second hatchery here is already down as well. So Fly establishing double expansions right at the 4 minute mark. And with that should have a very comfortable economy in about 7 or at the 7 minute mark of this game. Zerling is going to try to test this front door. I believe this one probe should be able to um, cause a little bit of problems here just enough so that the Zerglings are not going to be able to make it up that ramp without all getting shot down. Now you don't want to sacrifice those Zerglings early on especially with this little bit of SimCity. You also didn't know what was on the top part of the ramp. If probes were coming down just at the wrong moment those Zerglings could have just gotten stuck here and you sacrifice 75 minerals to know that your opponent has a cannon, a gateway and a forge on the front door. Not altogether that useful. Fly now training up his second queen already utilizing some, oh excuse me, third queen utilizing the Zerglings to try and take down these destructible rocks and Fly needs to perhaps play defensively as Gao needs to figure out a way to actually apply some pressure while not losing um, his, any steps in his own economy. 28 compared to 24 probes and Gao still only has one production building as his Cybernex Core just now finishes. We'll see what he does with that now getting that warp gate tech. Queen over here already taking care of this base. We may see um, some creep tumors be laid down. Fly definitely needs that additional movement speed connecting these bases and he does have a good amount of energy left over on that queen already. Back over here you can see the inject has already been completed. Fly waiting on the energy now. Will be able to hit that inject and things are a go as a creep tumor has just been laid down by Fly allowing him to perhaps connect these bases a little bit better. Alright. 
Warp gates are being placed down by Dow, so we could see an, an offensive push here, perhaps a six gate timing. And Gal with a six gate timing could take down or deal a lot of damage here. The majority of Fly's army is in drones. 44, 45, 46 drones now with a Roach Warren just now being added. Four warp gates. Normally you can run six warp gates off of two base. Still no extractors down over here just quite yet as the sentries could be making their way over. And it looks like a third base will be established by a Gal as well. So it is going to be a three base Protoss versus a three base Zerg. And now in comes a situation for Fly. Does he try and establish up this base here? Or does he just now transition heavily into Roaches at Tier 2 and try to knock on the front door and make sure that this base does not get up and running? Fly pretty much has free sight anywhere he wants to see now, which it could be a bit of an issue for Gao as Gao is not going to be able to surprise his opponent. More Warp Gates just now being warped in as well, a photon cannon being added, and Gao sitting on seven warp gates should deal a lot of damage. The only problem is he only has level one weapons upgrade, and these warp gate units are not going to bear or bear well or fare well, bear well, fare well against the mass roaches, which I think is going to be fly style. Harvester count 67 compared to 46. In comes three more warp gates now. Here's two additional assimilators running up now on four gas compared to a five gas Zerg. Fly has also getting up that hatchery, meaning he is going to be transitioning into a heavy push sometimes around, sometime I would guess around the 11 minute mark, um, 10 minute, 10 minute, 30 second mark. He should have that round of larva just come out perfectly. He needs an extra queen though, as we now see all of these units come down the banana hallway of Entombed. This is one of those situations where units are going to be coming in straight up here, and this could be a bit of an issue, as we are now going to see stalkers straight up walk inside this base and take a free look around. Drones now coming off, and this could be bad. There's a force field. Sentries coming in from the back. Uh, force fields coming out, and Fly is getting caught completely unaware and out of position. Gao now trying to just take down many drones and Gao um, is completely in control here as those force fields caught Fly off guard. You can see reinforcements are coming back down over here. Sentries are doing a great job. Fly is completely caught unaware. Needs to get a lot more roaches. Needs to get more injects. But this is not good news for Fly. Force field on the ramp. Zerglings unable to engage. Fly now coming over with drones. And Gao with a perfect timing on this attack. Catching Fly and Fly just needed a, about another 30 seconds. This timing from Gal was absolutely perfect. These a seven, eight gateways powering this entire attack here and now with a 110 supply compared to 52. Spiders Fly says GG as Gamma Bears' as Gal takes game three, a rubber match, taking a two to one lead in this series. Now, um, I will be casting a couple of games a day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you guys want the TESL games earlier, please let me know. Tomorrow is going to be Warcraft Wednesday, and but I can cast a little bit more to make sure you guys get your TESL fix as well. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed Game 3, and hope to see you guys on Battle.net.